Um, well, I don't know where to start, but I think we should start with this IPOBS sit at home order. All right, economic and social activities halted in Imo over the sit at home order by the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra IPOB over fear of possible attacks. Reports say residents of the state have deserted markets and streets of the state capital for safety. The proscribed group IPOB issued a statement that ordered people from the southeast to sit at home between May the 30th and May 31 for the annual Biafra Remembrance Day. Now, the statement issued says the day was set aside in remembrance of over 5 million Biafrans who died during the three-year civil war in Nigeria. Commissioner of Police in the States, Abutu Iyaru, had earlier issued a statement assuring residents of adequate security and urged the people to ignore the threat. All right, but according to the news agency of Nigeria, looks like uh, uh, most people actually complied with IPOP's sit at home order. So let's take a quick minute. Let's go and see this video uh, on how residents in some of the eastern states actually reacted to the sit at home order by IPOP. We'll be right back. Yeah, this is the almighty about road. Empty, no vehicle movement. No human and vehicle movement. Every year I've been condoled by the military. Here is try. As you can see, I'm in front of all in about road. Yeah, it's totally dry. This is the checkpoint at Akachi. You can see how they blocked it with a trailer. So yeah, this is heading to Pune. So yeah, it's dry. So dry. So dry. I know Ketana head bridge. Ozagaha, I say never been done in five knee here. So Ozagaha, I am on a head bridge, Keta. Elugun na head bridge. Man Ozagaha, the bar can knock Keta in a tower like us. Mana, no way. Ndame block or Ozo. Say no one near Abba Bridge, no one motor is bridge, wherever that. So I talk about the eastern part of this country. I'm reporting live from Onisha. Already various state governments in the eastern region of Nigeria have reacted to the directive by IPOB with warnings to troublemakers to stay off the zone. For instance, Governor David Umahi of Ebony State had in a statewide broadcast on Saturday threatened to seize uh, any shop which owner refused to open a deference to the IPOB order, just as he ordered security agents to shoot at sight anyone trying to attack any security personnel. Now, uh, for quick reports on what's going on in the states, in Imo State, some 48 hours to the D-Day, commercial and social activities were paralyzed on Saturday. Um, security personnel began to shoot indiscriminately as a show of strength to warn IPOB members of the readiness of the government to protect its citizens. IPOB had, however, insisted that though it shifted the day from May 30th being a Sunday to allow Christians to worship in their churches, the Monday date for the sit-at-home order remains sacrosanct. 
from Enugu to Abakaliki, Umwahia to Oka, Oweri to Onicha and Aba. Fear of the unknown, according to reports, has become really sick. Reports indicate that in virtually all the cities and the towns in the zone, citizens had, as early as Thursday last week, began to purchase necessities, mostly foodstuffs, in anticipation of the no movement order. Meanwhile, Governor Umahi of Ebony State has now come out to actually rescind his decision to seize shops from owners who refuse to open them in deference to the IPOP sit at home order. All right, gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, despite the federal government and uh, security operatives, you know, state government assuring citizens uh, to actually go about their businesses on these days, you know, uh, and all of that looked like the people preferred to actually stay indoors. No, the people do not prefer to stay indoors. My um, view is that um, the people stayed out of intimidation. Mm. Um, they didn't want to risk their lives to open their stores. They didn't want to risk their lives. Fear of the unknown. Yeah, because okay. they, they, they feel perhaps that they are, they are not protected by government. They are not protected by the police. They are not protected by, protected by the military. And these IPOP fellows are violent. Do you really, patients, think that people, you know, agree with the violent attitude of IPOP? No, they don't. The truth of the matter is that the IPOP methodology of you know addressing challenges is 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 annoying to some people. Is a put off. Mm. However, given uh, people want to remember that day, uh, remembering it. How do you want to remember it? It should be a somber reflection. And for me, as a Christian and indeed a Catholic, it is for me to pray for those who died during that war. Mm. And I know that as a town uh, where I come from. We lost over 700 full, able blooded, blood, blooded men in one full swoop, murdered by the federal troops. So that's not a day to create violence. That's not a day to, you know, you should reflect. Okay? But that's not to take away the fact that the agitations by IPOM has some, you know, some sense in it. You know, what are they asking for? They are asking for uh, independence and break away. No? Cessation. Cessation. Mm -hmm. Why are they asking for it? They are asking for it because they feel, they're not feeling secure in present day Nigeria. They now feel, you know, um, unappreciated. They now feel like, <coughs> out, uh, um, you know, outcast within the Nigeria belonging to everybody. The way government has constituted the present administration is lopsided. IPOP does not feel they belong to Nigeria anymore because they are not part of the governance. And you expect that every time there's opportunity for Mr. President to correct all this, you know, lopsidedness, the president doesn't seem to be able to correct it. So if I were Mr. President, I would look into, seriously into all this issues that I probably why would the president continue to give attention or consider um IPOB's agitation the group is already prescribed yeah, yeah, that, that's by the way but the, 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 the issues that they are raising are germane and people are listening to them that's what but, i'm but, saying but, yeah, but, if the the eastern part of nigeria right. does have issues right. they want addressed right why continue to use a prescribed group that's no, what i'm no, asking the, the, the easterners are not using the, the, the ipod which is prescribed but the point is that they seem to be the only voice for us group that is raising questions about their marginalization. So the, the, I, I, I sympathize with them, and I've said this on several programs, that as an Igbo man from Asaba, I sympathize with IPOB arguments. But I differ, radically differ from IPOB in their violent approach to their this. methodology. Their methodology. Okay. Is, I, I differ completely. All right, let me hear from Chief Professor. Now, patient, on this, on this table, some time ago, the year, that the federal government proscribed IPOP. I said, you have actually given these guys legitimacy. You have validated them. That is the first... By proscribing them. That is the first wrong move you make. By proscribing them. You didn't proscribe Masop. Who, as a result of Masop, they have a splinter group. 
um, Nambikano was played out of Maso by Enwas Wiki. He was the, he was in charge of the communication uh, area, um, the radio and everything. He, he sees that point because he have the he has the password to the back end. He sees it and he started an airport. And you knew that for you to break out from an established group and start another one, you have to begin to behave like I make a proverb here, which is our own proverb. Sometimes ago that um, um, it's not a very palatable way. If a person in those days when you marry, when you have to marry for your son, if the father doesn't, um, if the son does not behave as if he wants to um, ask the, the youngest wife of the father out, the father will not consider marrying a wife for him. You understand? Mm. So this is what happened. At the end of the day, the federal government got it all wrong by proscribing IPOP. Now, IPOP does not operate like a proscribed group. Their members are in the TV. Their members are in the camera. They are granting interview. And you are not arresting them. That is the first thing that... No, you can't, you can't I, arrest them. You know. No, why won't you arrest... Listen, if you say that you a mem, a Boko Haram is a terrorist group, and you openly confess to be a Boko Haram member, not a repentant one, you need to be arrested. Mm. First and foremost, what does proscription mean? That you have caused this thing to be in, 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 in not to be in existence. You, you have no legality to operate. Yeah, you, have this, is. Yes, yeah, you, no. you have caused this thing not to be not to have a legal backing or anybody can associate with it openly. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. We have all the hip hop people, the southeastern uh, police um, governors sit with the hip hop people and uh, have a meeting with them. The same, the government that started it all around. So, so at the end of the day, we are going around the circle. We are going around the circle. We are today. You saw what happened recently. Thank God for the um, civilization and maturity among the Yoruba elites. Thank God for. The, the 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 education that they got first because it's not just about getting education thank god that they don't have people that the the universe mind and not that easily is impregnable in terms of trying to infiltrate it it's impregnable you can't if not what happened in ebola today would have happened in yoruba with the ball i mean uh, what is it, what is his name Son, Ibo sunday now the canoe is not on ground Igbo is on ground that is heavily resisted within the Yoruba land. Hmm. So, well, well, my, 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 my so uh, again, talking about cessation, I don't think it's about cessation. Uh, for me, I don't always believe cessation is the answer to anything because when this plot of land says I don't want to be here, there's another plot of land that will not agree with the plot of land that cast out. Who say I don't want to be with you? War has started again. This one will say, I don't want to be with you. Everyone in this world must live in understanding. That's what matters. Okay. Today, everybody saying, Mr. President has not appointed uh, uh, a very, an Igbo man. He has not made an Igbo man a law. I have a, sen a senator. I don't want to mention who was from my place. I have a of rep member who is from my place. The same family with me. I have not benefited anything. Now, today, the road tap to my house is done by Yoruba man here in Lagos. How is that a problem? No, is he, uh, no how is that sorry, supposed sorry, to be? I'm coming down. I'm, listen, sorry, you must give somebody I'm, a sense wait, of now, belonging. Let me, there is if a you don't give somebody a sense of belonging, okay, I have a question, gentlemen. There is, there is a sense of belonging. All right. Okay. Okay, I get what both of you are trying to say, but I have a question Go based ahead. on what you just raised. Where do you draw the line between um, giving someone a sense of, of belonging or a feeling that they belong yeah. or they are included and allowing things slide because of ethnic sentiments. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Where do you draw that line? Yeah, but so let me respond by one question. Mm. By adding an Igbo man to your uh, administration, does that make your administration to backslide? Answer is an emphatic. But does it make him move forward it as does, well? It does make him move forward. Oh. Even now, hold on, let me say let me it. Even oh. now, mm -hmm. are we moving forward? There's pervasive insecurity in the, in the country. How will having hold an on. evil hold man, on. Hold on. At, uh, you know, in charge of security, no, how would that security. make no, a difference? It doesn't have to be in charge of security. Okay. Okay. But, but let me tell you, how does it sound that your chief of naval he did to know until you, you brought this fellow from uh, Ica mm -hmm. to become chief, uh, 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 what was it called, uh, 
is it chief of the head of the of, of the of the armed forces? I've forgotten the uh, was the government later. Um, but, but the point I'm trying to make is that. Chief of Army Staff? No, is not Chief of Army Staff. You have Chief of Army Staff. You have Chief of Defense Staff. Chief of Defense Staff. Okay. Now, but the point here, until he came in, the security architecture was concentrated in one place. And in, at the slightest provocation, you move the military on the streets you know, of eastern Nigeria. The people begin to say, oh, hang on. Is it because we don't have anybody there? They are misconstruing it. In reality and in genuinely, like when they were doing opera, uh, this operation that they call um, Operation Day Waking, all right, genuinely, the army does that often. But people raise the issues. If you had somebody from the southeast, and not necessarily even south south, from Cross River, from whatever, in that uh, security thing. Nobody's going to read meaning in two years that it is, you know, it is geared towards this. Because, they have, because they have representation within the hierarchy. So, and, then, and then hold on, and then hold on, and this is mm -hmm. important. It's a constitutional thing. You cannot, you see, the, the, even the federal character thing is not even represented. And the same Mr. President had made the error from day one in that infamous interview in America when he mentioned 97% and 5%. So, ad initial, that statement, you know, he has not come out of it because his actions have been interpreted, interpreted based on that. The ninety-seven and five percent. Okay. The secession, the Biafra secession, did it start under Buhari? But it has been heightened. Listen, it has been heightened. Wait, 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 now let us not let, validate. Let, 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 hear me let us not validate some of these things. For me, I believe that if there's something called for that character, it should be obeyed. It should be at air to. However, if it's not at air to, it shouldn't result to violence. Now the the part of the country that was so peaceful that you could consider taking your family to on, on vacation if you cannot go abroad is South East Enugu. Now you cannot go to Enugu anymore. You cannot go to Imo State. In this country, Imo State already has the highest concentration of hotels. Go and do your investigation and find out. Go and check it out. And two things and filling station, what they call petrol station. In Uwele. Today, that place is fizzled out. What am I talking about? When you bring a firewood infested, uh, I mean, an um, um, ant infested firewood home, you are inviting um, lizard for, for dinner. And what that means is that now anybody can simply walk in. And I'm even shocked that I pop as denying the killing of the, 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 let me, let me, let me also try to say this the killing of an, an, um, 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 what is the name of the state, uh, Atiku State. Adamawa. Adamawa state man in Imo state. That is what you have done. It could be some people who are not an hip hop. It could be some people who are not hip hop people that did that. But what you have done that you have created an ample opportunity for people to come into your place and comment and and and, and, and let a vote. And when they read a vote, they were attributed to you, and your place become ungovernable. I called my in-law this morning. She he was crying. Police army were chasing everybody. He went and and dug his leg into a dish. Now it's nothing a major rule. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody is happy. Everybody is living in the bush. So can I ask a, a, a question? The question, the, the question they're going to ask me is that no, we, are we, are ask we have tolerated this to no, no. God, God, I'm the one to ask you the question. You should be asking yourself the question. My question is, how do you think that this pervasive insecurity, not just in the country, but particularly now in the eastern part of the country, how do you think it will be addressed? Uh, look, the only way it can be addressed. The only way it can be addressed. Is that be asking the the question question question. you okay. know, people should take over the fight, to take over the agitation, to take over. No, no this is not. Why? Okay, is it is it or not? Can no, I'm not a fan of Onam. So what I'm about? saying is, so hold on. The people do not believe that the politicians are representing the world. You don't seem to get it. The people have no. The average woman does not regard the politician anymore. They have failed them. That's the argument. They have failed them, and so that's why they have now. My question is that, that, my, that, my that's why they have now resorted listen, to IPOP. Listen, my listening to IPOP yeah, to sit at Peter, home my because question. your politicians have failed Peter, them. Peter, my question is: these people that are agitating, who are they? When they seize power, are they not going to be politicians? 